Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I want to talk about the plugin for WordPress called Really Simple SSL. I've done a number of videos on SSL certificates, uh, why you need them, how to set up SSL in WordPress without using any plugins. So naturally, I've gotten some questions about this plugin, Really Simple SSL, which I think is a good plugin. I've used it myself in the past. Uh, to set up SSL before I kind of came up with this solution that I posted in another video. Overall, I like to use as few plugins as possible because plugins just add complexity to a website and can slow it down. So if I can do anything without a plugin, I'll do it that way. So because people have commented on this plugin, I just wanted to look into it and record a quick video. Um, so again, I think it's a good plugin. It's well supported. It has 5 million installations that are active. It's updated a lot. Um, so normally that's a sign of a good plugin and it has five stars. Uh, well, sorry, it has thousands of, you can see the reviews right here. It's got, it's basically a five star plugin. So I think it's safe to use. Um, and I went ahead and installed it on this website just to show you what it can do. Basically it's to upgrade your site to uh, SSL HTTPS. You do need to have a certificate in place. And I talk about that in other videos as well. But let's just look at the settings real quick and what it does. It has a mixed content filter. Uh, it's basically going to force your website to HTTPS, the secure version. Um, so if people go to HTTP version of your website, they'll just get redirected. Uh, one of the issues there is just that's an easy thing to, to do on your own without a plugin. Um, so this probably is a lightweight plugin, but I did a little bit of research just into their support documents and found a bunch of people who were talking about speed issues. So some people were talking about slow loading issue uh, caused by 404 issues on your site caused by the move to SSL. Some people were mentioning that it had to do with the content filter. And I believe what this content filter does, if we go back into the settings, is if you have any insecure content on your site, somehow it filters it out. I'm not sure how that works, but you know, there, whenever you have plugins that are doing things in real time, it just means they have to load uh, before your or as your website's loading, load scripts and different things. So, you know, if you gotta have these off, it's just gonna make your website faster. You might need the, the features of this plugin. That's why you install plugins in the first place. But you definitely wanna look at it a little bit more closely and check out my other video on how you can install SSL without a plugin to really see if you need this. Cause you don't wanna have a secure website. I mean, you wanna have a secure website, but you're not at the sacrifice of site speed. You don't want to have a slow website because um, that's almost a bigger issue than uh, an insecure website for most people. So check out the reviews here um, and you'll, you'll see some things about slow load times. So I'll link to the video I did on my process for activating uh, HTTPS on WordPress sites. And you just saw the thumbnail there so you should be able to spot it. And in that video I talk about editing the HT access file in order to redirect your site to the secure version. And that can be a little scary for some people because you gotta log into the website files and edit a document that you know looks like programming language that some people might not be um, confident or they just might be scared to edit that. But this process has even become easier since I did my video. And that is because uh, for those of you who have cPanel, um, you can actually just go into domains so log into cPanel for your account, click on domains, and for your domain, you can actually just click a toggle here under force HTTPS redirect, just turn that on. It's basically gonna do the same thing that I described in that video. Um, so you won't have to mess with that hidden file or any code where you can kind of break your website. You just click that toggle and it's gonna do that for you. So that process on my video that's become pretty popular on YouTube um, is actually way easier now because you can just for those who have cPanel, you can just click that button. You might be able to do that on other platforms as well, but just wanted to show that uh, as an update to my video uh, that you can now just click that toggle button. So the moral of the story is to think twice before installing another plugin, including a really great plugin like Really Simple SSL. I'll link to my other video I've mentioned a few times, so you can go check that out now and install SSL without a plugin. And I'll link to some other SSL videos as well, and we'll see you on those. Thanks for watching.